What's up guys, Mulex? Second part of the video, I already removed the back cover. Mo removed the power supply. Removed this ribbon cable that went like this. You know, like that, which I'm, uh, I believe this is the data cable for the Blu-ray. It goes from the Blu-ray drive to the board. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this metal cover, get the Blu-ray out, um, turn it over, get the other side completely off, and then get inside this metal case, which is holding the motherboard, and that's where the chip is. Um, we do not have to remove the fan. The fan's part of the um, cooling housing, if you want to call it. Uh, the PS3, actually, the fan came out, but you don't have to do it on this one. All we're going to do is remove the Blu-ray, turn it over, remove the covers, and then open the cover to the board. And we'll get right to the, the uh, chips with the thermal paste. We'll be back. All right. The Blu-ray drive is out. It's right over here. This is what it looks like if anyone is interested. It's just a drive. Disc goes in. Goes inside and spins around. Now, all we have to do... Is um, take out this black screw right here flip the whole board around take off the plastic and then we could separate this metal shield which has the same exact thing on the other side holding the board inside the middle open it up, expose the chip, clean it off put, I have Articlean, really good shit then I have stuff that purifies and readies the chip Arctic Silver 5 Put that on once you clean the chip. Reverse the process. Should be done in probably another 20 minutes. Yeah. And there we have it. The PlayStation 4 motherboard. That's the CPU slash GPU. It's one chip now. This is the cooling. The fan is on the other side. Right here on the other side. So heat sink pretty much. Chip. And the gooey shit you see on there, that's the thermal paste. They're cheap, nasty, fucking all over the chip, thermal paste. We're going to clean that off. We're going to clean that off. We're going to put nice new Arctic Silver 5 on the chip. Flip it back over. Screw it back in nice and tight. Let the pressure spread the paste. Reverse the process, put it all back together, which would take me probably, I don't know, at this point, 10 minutes. Boom. And we're back to playing on a nice, cool, and running PS4. We're back again. As you can see, all the papers and little folded up papers everywhere. We just cleaned the chip. That's a reflection on the ceiling, you see, not drippage. I actually thought it was a drip on there. <laughs> I'm like, how can it be dripped? That's the reflection. It looks like a mirror now. Look, you could actually see my head in the reflection of the fucking chip. That's how clean it is using, you know, this you use. You wipe the, you wipe the majority of it off first. You use this to break down the rest. Then you use this. It's a purifier. It readies the surface for, for new thermal paste. So I put some of that on there, and I put some of that on here, which is the contact point. Okay, so the next step is to put the thermal paste on, close it back up, put everything back together. That's it. That's it. All right, we'll be back again. And she's all put back together. She is all put back together. PlayStation 4. All right, we're going to go plug her in right now. For the first time since I'm done doing it. Hold on, I'm going to turn on this light. Okay, here's my setup. We'll put the camera over here for a second.
All right. She's all hooked back up. We're gonna power. Oops, I didn't mean to touch the power button, but I did. We're gonna power her on. So far, so good. So far, that's a good sign. The blue light's a good sign. Turn on the TV. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, what's the point of doing this, did you ask yourselves? Stack, sorry, stock thermal paste is um, very bad. Sony uses very bad thermal paste. Um, it dries up fast, starts overheating. By doing this, yes, you void your warranty, but you have a nice cooler running PlayStation. Um, I did it to my play. I did it to my PS3, and did it now to my PS4. All right, let's put a disc in. Make sure the Blu-ray drive is working. And for my second son, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can load the game. Six minutes left on the update. Let's start anyway. Yeah, well, everything's working. I just wanted to make sure the disc was reading. I'll stop it now to let that finish. Um, that's it guys. Uh, I definitely I recommend doing it if you're gonna play hard on your ps4 You're gonna have to change the thermal paste eventually um, You should get three years out of Arctic Silver 5 before you got to do it again the stock thermal paste after six months She's probably already running hotter than she should be um, After you do it give it like an hour or two and then feel the air coming out of the back the air coming out of the back is super hot What you just did is working if it's still coming out pretty cool it's not working, but chances are it's going to work because RX Silver 5 never fails. But when you first turn it on, yes, it's going to be, you know, blowing cold air. But let it heat up, see how the air feels. So far, I don't even hear the fucking thing. Um, I don't hear it at all. Um, and I'm happy. Yeah, I avoided the warranty, but I don't care. I don't fucking care. Anyway, peace.